style Phil Van Dorn aiming to mirror Lewis Hamilton Mercedes success but not in F1 style Phil Van Dorn hopes to mirror the achievements of Lewis Hamilton when Mercedes fully commit to Formula E in 2019-20. The Belgian ace left F1 for the all-electric series at the end of 2018 but has had a difficult time after joining HWA for their first season in the championship. However, the German outfit are an affiliate of Mercedes and will be taken over by the manufacturing giant next season giving Van Dorn hope that he could be at the start of something special. When asked if Hamilton's successful move from McLaren to Mercedes in 2013 followed by four world titles in six seasons was reason to be enthusiastic about the Silver Arrow's latest venture, Van Dorn told Express Sport, Yeah exactly, I've got the chance to be involved in that project. It's early days, but it's exciting to be a part of that. Mercedes, every championship they join, they are not just coming to join, and make up the numbers. They are there to build a car as strong as possible and to make sure they go for victories so yeah, we've got some responsibilities to guide the team in the right direction with developments so I hope we can reach some success together. Things have not gone smoothly for HWA in their debut Formula E campaign with neither Van Dorn nor Gary Paffett scoring a point after the opening four races. Van Dorn, though, is confident the team can't turn things around after showing good one-lap pace and putting in an encouraging display during testing in Mexico. The Belgian appears to be enjoying life out of the F1 spotlight this year having struggled to show his true potential in an underperforming McLaren alongside two-time world champion. And now the 26-year-old seems to have put aside immediate plans to return to F1 and is focused on helping Mercedes make their transition into electric racing. I had my good times in F1, maybe not the most successful part of my career. But I'm now on to something different which I'm enjoying, said Van Dorn. I'm just getting used to the whole process of Formula E but I'm definitely seeing this as the longer term now. Getting back into F1, it's not something I'm thinking about. I'm seeing Formula E as the long term. My team in the future will become a manufacturer team and I think there is a huge opportunity there for me to be part of a very successful team. When asked if he was jealous of Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris driving a seemingly much improved McLaren during winter testing at Barcelona, he said, not at all, no. It's gone now and times move on. It's hard to judge from testing. We should probably have another chat after the first couple of races. At this stage it's hard to tell where everyone ranks. The field in general looks a bit closed up but that's still hard to tell. I'm not looking back at it, my time with McLaren, with a bad taste. Next news Bird wins Hong Kong E Prix after lottery clash but investigation ongoing following race. Bird came through from 7th on the grid to win, but clashed with Lotterer in the closing stages as he took his second victory of the season. The Bird passed five cars on the opening lap before working his way into the lead, only to allow Lotterer to sneak past after going too deep into turn two. Safety car deployments disrupted the race on a drying track as Bird hounded the DS that cheetah driver, eventually tagging Lauderer and causing damage on his left rear with a lap remaining. Eduardo Morata and Lucas Di Grassi profited from the incident to finish second and third while the result underwent investigation but no action was taken. Style Phil Van Dorn started on pole after an excellent performance in a wet qualifying session but was passed off the line by Olivier Roland. Bird also enjoyed a brilliant getaway to gain ground early on but the race was red flagged following. All three cars were unable to take the restart as Roland led the grid away behind the safety car. However, 
The Nissan Neat. Dems driver soon relinquished the lead when a loss of power allowed Bird to jump ahead. The Brit showed great pace but made a slight mistake to allow Waterer through, although Bird continued to hound the back of the DS the Cheetah Ace. The safety car came out again when Van Dorn, who had been running strongly near the top of the order, stopped on track with a drive shaft problem. Bird went close on several occasions in a visibly quicker car before eventually nudging Lauderer as the German moved over in the braking zone of turn 2, inflicting damage which caused his rival to drop out. Bird received his trophy on the podium while an investigation was ongoing but the result was subsequently allowed to stand. Next news Stoffel van Dorn on refreshing new start after McLaren and Alonso nightmare. Stoffel van Dorn has opened up about leaving behind a difficult spell at McLaren and moving on to a new challenge in Formula E. The Belgian endured two tough seasons in F1 with a woking outfit as he was consistently overshadowed by two-time world champion. But has no such worries this season despite teammate Gary Paffett's established relationship with HWA The Brit having spent eight seasons with the team in DTM. When asked if he felt at a disadvantage compared to his new stablemate, Van Dorn said, Not at all, I felt at home very quickly with the team. The approach they've had to welcome me into the team has been really nice. Really refreshing and I feel like I'm settling in well. This is a marked difference to McLaren where Van Dorn appeared marginalized as Alonso supposedly dominated the team's energy and resources as they tried to improve an underperforming car. Paffett is a two-time DTM champion, having lifted the crown in 2005 then again in 2018, and also has experience at McLaren as their former test driver but was overlooked for a race seat in 2007 in favor of. When asked about his new teammate, Van Dorn said, I have a really good relationship with Gary. I never actually met him before joining the team. He had a little time at McLaren as well and as he left, I joined so we never really got to know each other. He's a good guy, obviously with a lot of experience a lot of DTM experience and we come from different backgrounds so that's good for the team to have these two different views going into this new challenge. I would say I do, have an equal footing at HWA. To be real honest the situation is completely different, compared to McLaren. Even between all the teams, everyone has the same package. There are differences in the powertrain between the teams but the differences are a lot smaller than they were in F1 so everyone has a chance going into a race weekend to have a result. It's a different mindset and a lot less politics involved. We are a pure racing team and we're just going out there to try and get the best result. Those results have been difficult to come by so far this season as HWA experienced teething problems during their first Formula E campaign. Van Dorn and Paffett are yet to score points in the four races that have taken place, although both cars finished in Mexico last time out and the Belgian is confident about Round 5 in Hong Kong this weekend. The problems have been for both ends of the garage, and we know where we are as a team, he said. From my side, I've made a couple of mistakes in the first couple of races. The team knows as well that there have been a few glitches with technical problems, but we're not here to blame anyone. We all know that we're learning the hard way, with a lot of setbacks, but we are becoming stronger. I am 100% convinced that the results will come once we get things together. Next news Formula E news, Bird gives Van Dorn verdict and says F1 is threatened by electric series A. Stoffel Van Dorn has been praised by fellow Formula E driver Sam Bird despite enduring a nightmare start to his career in the all-electric series. Van Dorn made the switch from F1 to Formula E at the end of 2018, 
swapping McLaren for the HWA outfit who themselves were embarking on their first year in the championship. Technical problems and on-track incidents have lighted the Belgian season so far, with Van Dorn failing to score any points while finishing just two of the four races. However, Envision Virgin Racing star Bird has praised the level of competition in Formula E and Van Dorn in particular, saying, the driver caliber is ridiculous. In F1 you've got Lewis, Hamilton, and Sebastian, Vettel and a couple of others you could name that are maybe a little bit above everybody else, but I think you could check every single driver currently in Fay into F1 and I think they would survive. Maybe history says that they haven't for whatever reason, but there are perfectly good explanations as to why they didn't. I don't think Stoffel got a fair crack at it. I think he's a world-class driver and his CV says that. You would say that about Sebastian Bumi, Jean Eric Verne, Felipe, Massa, proved himself quite clearly. There's 21 drivers there who could have had a big break and maybe didn't get the chance. Van Dorn endured two difficult seasons and McLaren in an unreliable and sluggish car alongside two time world champion Fernando Alonso. He scored 13 points to Alonso's 17 in his first season but struggled in 2018 and has since revealed that. Van Dorn had a stellar racing record before entering F1, winning championships in F4 Eurocup 1.6, Eurocup Formula Renault 20 and GP2. The competitive nature of Formula E, which has seen four different champions in its four seasons and four different race winners in 2018-19, has left his new HWA team lagging behind. However, Van Dorn's one-lap pace has been good when not troubled by mechanical issues and the Belgian will be hoping to notch his first points at round 5 in Hong Kong this weekend. <music> Meanwhile, Bird is currently third in the standings after and the Brit believes Formula E has now emerged as a genuine threat to F1 due to its non-stop action illustrated by A. Formula E is in a very healthy place. He said. I think that Formula E isn't worried about Formula 1, but the other way round I think there is a little bit of concern that Formula E is getting the headlines but Formula 1 isn't. They needs to continue to grow, get faster, improve its technology and who knows what the future holds. Formula E is going in a great direction and its momentum is very good. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.